Welcome to the 2019 Concho Valley Homepage Severe Weather Special. Today, you'll get to hear about severe weather threats that are possible across the Concho Valley during the upcoming severe weather season. And these include threats that can do extensive damage or put you and your family at risk. Let's start off tonight by taking a look back at what transpired weather-wise in the year of 2018. The 2018 severe weather season got off to a slow start in the Concho Valley. A rather dry March and April led to wildfires. A big pattern shift brought May in roaring like a lion. Multiple days in the first week of May featured severe weather. 80 mile per hour winds moved in over southwest San Angelo and large hail fell in Erie County covering the ground in Barnhart. And though outside of the Concho Valley, a severe storm slammed the town of Richland Springs with a baseball-sized hail and 100-mile-per-hour winds prompting multiple warnings in the eastern Concho Valley. I mean, you can really see the wind. And for the second year in a row, uh, June 23rd brought a severe storm into San Angelo with 80 to 90 mile per hour winds, though the brunt of the storm missed the city. down 208 into northern After a hot summer, we had an abnormally active fall weather season. Early Saturday, October morning turned into a tornado outbreak in the Concho Valley with more than five tornadoes reported, one of which touched down in Brady. What followed was extremely heavy rain that fell in the southern parts of the Concho Valley, causing two flash flooding events in Sonora and Junction. Four people lost their lives in the Llano River flooding. Finally, winter came and a near miss for the Concho Valley, too, as areas just to our north near Sweetwater were pummeled with four to eight inches of snow. 2018 is already off to an active start with an EF1 tornado touching ground right in downtown Junction. Of course, KLST and KSAN will be right there to keep you safe, no matter what Mother Nature throws our way. By far, the most notable weather event to occur in 2018 were the two floods in Sonora and Junction. Our Chris Ramirez went there and has more on how the towns are recovering. Thanks, guys. 2018 started off with excessive drought conditions, with many praying for rain. But the year ended with many praying for the rain to stop. Unfortunately, excessive rainfall took a toll on two Concho Valley communities where we were all reminded what the power of water could do and what the devastation of flooding could do. The Dry Devils River that runs through Sonora, Texas usually lives up to its name. However, on September 21st, 2018, excessive rainfall struck residents by surprise and showed what a flash flood can do. As roads and highways became flooded in Sutton County, emergency assistance from neighboring communities was hindered. So there was no help coming to Sonora. We had to be self-sustained for that period of time and effect our rescues uh, with, with the sheriff's office, the fire department, our citizens pulling together. As flood waters started to rage, time was running out for those trying to evacuate. There was, there was a lady. Um, she was on her front porch. Uh, it was very obvious that she looked concerned. Because she didn't want to leave her house. Within 10 minutes, uh, that water had already up, was up to her porch, and there was no way for her to get out of her house, and we had to go physically carry her out of her house. The days after, the devastation was clear. Many were displaced from their homes, and debris piled throughout the city. Homes were so severely damaged that many had to be demolished. As word of the flooding spread throughout the state of Texas, donation and aid poured into Sutton County. Sutton County was included under a disaster declaration, and residents qualified for federal aid. Fortunately, not one fatality occurred that day. That was to change a few weeks later in the city of Junction. There's RV parks right here along the river right where we're at, and the people were surprised in the middle of the night. They were in tents and RVs, and the river came up so quickly. On October 8, 2018, the South Llano River reached major flood stage. Despite search and rescue operations, four people lost their lives that day. Oh, Reflecting left. on Sonora and Junction, it demonstrates that water, our most precious resource, can be both dangerous and deadly. Planning ahead and staying alert when flooding is expected for your region can save your life and others. Taban Sharifi has more details on the dangers and how you can stay safe. Flooding and flash flooding is the number one severe weather killer in the United States. Half of those deaths occur in vehicles. Only six inches of water is needed to sweep a person off their feet with only 12 inches of water needed for a vehicle to be swept away. Most flooding situations are avoidable. Take precaution if you do find yourself in a flooding situation. If your car does get swept away, uh, the best thing to do is to get on the roof of it, um, to get out of it because water will come into the vehicle 
um, it can trap you. So if you can get to the roof, the, the hood, the trunk on top of it, uh, more than likely it's going to hit something and stop and that's where we come in and get you off the vehicle from there. If you stick to that term, turn around, don't drown, then these trucks can be better utilized in other emergency situations. If there is ever a situation that somebody does need us, I'd hate to be on a call that's not, i say an emergency because a car just stalled. So if we just keep people out of the water, that'd be great. Ultimately, staying away from those flood prone locations requires you to stay alert and plan ahead just like any other severe weather situation. Back to you at the studio. Thank you, Tabon. Texas leads the nation each year in flood related deaths. When we come back, we'll talk about the formation of hail, the damage it can cause, and how you can stay safe in it. Don't go away. Enjoy a Huevos Rancheros breakfast plate today at Rosa's Cafe. Ashley Spring Mattress Sale is going on now. Hurry in and get 50% off any Ashley adjustable base. With the purchase of any Ashley mattress, save $1,000 on Sealy Surrey Lane mattress. Plus, buy any Tempur-Pedic or Stearns & Foster and get up to five years no interest or a free TV. The Spring Mattress Sale at your Ashley Home Store. Lots of great entertainment on during this mad, mad month. How do you stay on top of it? Well, Greg, the best way is to get Altis One with over 200 channels and 100 meg internet only from Suddenlink. All for only 64 no, $54.99 a month. So you're telling me Suddenlink customers are staying entertained at a nearly professional level? Yeah. I mean, look how effortlessly this dude can dunk. His mind is totally on the game. And it can be with an upgraded operating system that enhances his experience with 4K Ultra HD TV and Cloud DVR. So true. Wow. Nice dribbling. Yes, very confident. Probably because he gets to watch his little baby shows on any device with a voice-activated remote. Watching at the DMV? Is that an illegal screen? Nope. She can watch her favorite shows on the go on any device. Get all these one for only $54.99 a month. And don't forget to add HBO, so you can prepare for the final season of Game of Thrones this April. Call 855-829-3172 today or visit suddenlink.com. And now get, wow, a $150 gift card. Altice One, only at Suddenlink. It's time for the annual Texas Tech Alumni Scholarship Fun Golf Tournament at the San Angelo Country Club Friday, April 19th. This is a four-person scramble, $500 per team, $125 a player. Registration is at 11.30 a.m., lunch is at 12, and the shotgun start is at 1.30. This day of fun includes a delicious lunch, closest to the pin, longest drive, mulligans, hole-in-one, pay the pro, and snacks and awards after playing. For more info, contact Blaine Harris, 325-650-7202, or blaine.harris at gmail.com. The annual Texas Tech Alumni Scholarship Fun Golf Tournament, April 19th at San Angelo Country Club. Ashley Spring Mattress Sale is going on now. Hurry in and get 50% off any Ashley adjustable base. With the purchase of any Ashley mattress, save $1,000 on Sealy Surrey Lane mattress. Plus, buy any Tempur-Pedic or Stearns & Foster and get up to five years no interest or a free TV. The Spring Mattress Sale at your Ashley Home Store. Don't wait. Communicate. Make your emergency plan today. Although it is difficult to pinpoint exactly where a large hail shaft will strike, the general region where hail can be expected is very predictable. Here's a better understanding of how hail forms along with the impacts it can have on us here, right here in the Concho Valley. It's an all too familiar sound for those who live in West Texas during severe weather season. Anytime you get a, a storm like this in, in town, there, there's so much damage. It's of course, it's devastating. Texas ranks number one in the nation with 747 major hail events affecting more than one million properties. This includes hailstones measuring greater than one inch in diameter. Mary Lou Molden knows all about hail and shares her experience. Last night, it was lightning and raining. I didn't think anything about that, but after a while, it sounded like somebody was tearing the top off my house. Hail occurs in association with thunderstorms forming when updrafts are strong enough to carry water droplets well above the freezing level. This freezing process forms a hailstone which can grow as additional water freezes onto it. Eventually the hailstone becomes too heavy for the updrafts to support it therefore falling to the ground. During the 95 storm the, these large hailstones went through roofs into the homes broke a bunch of windows. We had so much small hail that it uh, blocked the uh, storm drains and so that resulted in some flooding in the city so that, so hail can do all, can cause all kinds of problems hail size is measured by comparing it to a known object where hail could reach more than four inches in diameter comparable to that of a softball 
There were 6,045 major hailstorms in 2017. According to the NOAA's Severe Storms database, resulting in $1.8 billion in property and crop damage. He got up to the top of the ladder and was able to spot black spots in the roof that, that were hail and indentions, and so he said, your roof is toast. If you are aware of a hail threat, get your vehicle under covered parking, stay indoors and away from all windows. We're now going to send it over to Chris, who explains how you can stay safe during a strong to severe thunderstorm capable of producing large hail. Like Noel mentioned, hail can cause safety concerns. We tend to often think about how hail is going to damage our property, but we don't realize that hail can actually be deadly. Thunderstorms with large hail are usually severe warned. By paying attention to severe weather alerts, in most cases there is usually time to get to a safe place. However, it's really easy to be caught by surprise to find yourself in the middle of a hailstorm. If you are driving, do not stop under an overpass. Stopping under overpasses creates a dangerous situation for you and others around you. Those who do this can block traffic exposing others to danger, cause an accident, and prevent emergency vehicles from getting through. You would want to pull off the road and find a sturdy shelter. If you are caught outside during a hailstorm and there's no shelter nearby, it's very important to protect your eyes and to protect your head. Hazards do exist if you are indoors. Stay away from windows and get to the most center part of your home or building. Falling hail could break windows and can cause shards of glass to fly throughout the structure you are in. Objects can always be replaced but lives cannot. These safety measures will keep you ahead of the next hell story. When we come back, we'll take an in-depth look at tornadoes and how warnings are changing right here in the Concho Valley. Stay with us. Everybody in the pool. A new swimming pool in your backyard this summer means double the fun for your family. What better way to keep the kids entertained? Think you can't afford it? Then think again. The big 15 by 24 Econoline pool from Blue World Pools is only $3.99. Yes, $3.99, and that super low price includes pump, filter, liner, ladder, and a free automatic pool vacuum. That's right, all that fun, only $3.99. But that's not all. That price even includes installation on your ready site. What a deal! You may choose to step up to the next level with our midline pool or really turn your backyard into a summer party paradise with the classic pool from Blue World Pool. Our top-of-the-line classic is famous for its low maintenance and high-style beauty. Nothing brings the family together like a backyard pool. The summer barbecues, the parties, or just hanging out and cooling off on yet another sweltering summer day. Beat that heat. Call Blue World Pools now and get your party started. Spring is coming, and that means changes are on the way. And we have new and exciting changes to freshen up your house. Choose from one, two, even three years no interest. It's your choice. Limitless options for your limitless imagination. Trend Furniture across from Sunset Mall, 4002 Wellington. How can you help fight cancer? You can team up with friends, rally your neighbors, and inspire your community to join Relay for Life. You can throw a party, hold a garage sale to help fund research, free rides to chemo, and free places to stay near hospitals. You can bring people together, because together we can beat our biggest rival. Are you with us? Join Relay for Life and help us attack cancer in our community. National PB&J Day. Take a bite out of this puzzle. The category is food and drink. Homemade grape jelly. That's it. Tonight at 6.30 on KLST. Welcome back to the 2019 Concha Valley Homepage Severe Weather Special. Tornadoes can strike with little or no warning. Here's a more in-depth look at tornadoes, the damage they cause, and how you can stay safe. The Concho Valley is no stranger to tornadoes, even violent ones. In 1953, an F-4 tornado struck the community of Lakeview, killing 11 people. The thing was so severe that where it went down, it just destroyed everything. Heading down 41st Street, and there was no place to go or do. In fact, since 1950, the Concho Valley has seen around 240 tornadoes, which is close to four tornadoes each year. The National Weather Service is in charge of rating these tornadoes using the enhanced Fujita scale. Well, we look at the damage. What's, what's being damaged? How well are our homes built that are damaged? So, so we look at the intensity of the damage, but we also look, in order to determine whether it was a straight-line wind or a tornado, we also look at the damage pattern. 
Now, while the Concho Valley is only on the edge of Tornado Alley, we see all the ingredients required for the formation of tornadoes. Meanwhile, as our climate is changing, there is evidence that so is Tornado Alley. Dixie Alley is a portion of the southeast that's pretty much extending from central Mississippi up through northern Alabama into Tennessee. But if you go back in the last three, four, five years, we get more tornado watches in the last several years than other parts of the country. Researchers, other meteorologists are finding more data that shows we do get a lot more tornadoes from central Mississippi into northern and central Alabama than we thought in the past. Even so, we must always stay prepared as strong tornadoes still occur in our neck of the woods. Like a little bit of uh, preparation can uh, really pay off. When the, the, when the big one James Lynch, comes through town, and we just never know when that's going to happen. Their eyes when they saw this tornado. Chris Ramirez has more on how to stay safe should a tornado strike. When it comes to tornadoes, we have to realize that there are no places that are going to keep you 100% safe. However, there are some places that are safer than others. Being in a vehicle or mobile home are some of the most unsafe places to be during a tornado. If my statement did not sink in, take a look at this. Here's a shocker. This is not from a tornado, but from a severe thunderstorm. This shows that just strong winds can put you in a hazardous situation if you are stuck in a mobile home. If a tornado is imminent, you need to leave immediately to a sturdy, well-grounded shelter. Tornado watches are issued a few hours ahead of suspected severe weather, so paying attention to weather reports and planning ahead is key. A vehicle is also a dangerous place to be during a tornado. If you are in a vehicle, get out and take shelter in a building. If a building is not nearby, take cover in a ditch or low-lying area. And reminding you once again, do not park under an overpass. We have seen that homes are capable of being severely damaged or destroyed by a tornado. There are safe places in the home that you should keep in mind. Avoid all windows and go to the lowest floor of a home. A closet or a bathroom is the best place to be. Crouch down, facing down, and cover your head with your hands. Even the biggest structures are not exempt from destruction by tornadoes. Places of business and school should have a tornado emergency plan. Know the plan, follow it, and do not panic. Staying calm will prevent injuries in high-volume areas. Use stairwells to move to the basement or lowest level in the building. Crouch down and cover your head. It is important to have a personal storm action plan when nature's fury strikes. By implementing these tornado safety tips, you will be prepared for the next tornado threat. For those still wondering if the tornado warning sirens around town are still in use, well, unfortunately, the answer is no. A new system has been implemented that officials believe will warn more people and save more lives. Taban Sharifi got a closer look. We've spent our whole lives protecting the citizens of San Angelo. Chief Dunn did the research. He looked into it. I've done it. I've looked into this. This is going to warn more people and help save more lives than what the old system is. What was originally created as air raid sirens in the 1950s during the Cold War, then later adapted as tornado warning sirens, has become obsolete. And most of these sirens were, were 50 to 70 years old. We could not get parts for them anymore. So you're talking about an entire replacement of the siren system for the city of San Angelo. And I believe the cost for that was between $500,000 and $700,000 for a limited technology. In addition, the sirens were only able to be heard within a certain parameter. Now, a new system, IPAWS, Integrated Public Alert Warning System, is in place to alert civilians of potential dangers. It works like an amber alert. So we can send messages out to your cell phones, landlines, TVs, cable, satellite, Twitter, Facebook, all those mediums that you can get a message, and we can tell you what the emergency is. Unlike the amber alert system, these government-issued alerts cannot be turned off. You also don't need to sign up for them. IPAWS will warn all people in a direct line of danger without causing unnecessary panic. We have a uh, tornado warning in effect for the city of San Angelo and you happen to be in San Antonio or out of town and you don't realize that there's an alert going on, uh, once you break that barrier, that alert will come to your phone. The new system works for tornado warnings and all other potential hazards. When we come back, an electrifying look at lightning and how to stay safe. Don't go away. CBS Tonight. Have you seen Taurus? Ping his phone. It's me, again. Straight to voicemail. It's splattered in blood. A new NCIS, then. I want the fugitive task force on this. The hunt is on. 
We're FBI's most wanted. Our job is to bring justice. A new FBI after a new NCIS. CBS Tonight. Right now, step up to Exmark, the mowers landscape pros trust two to one over the next best-selling brand of zero-turn mowers. With Quest zero-turn riders for as little as $29.99. For even more performance, step up to the Exmark radius starting at $49.99. Or go pro with the Laser Z starting at $94.99. With any Exmark, you'll get a great-looking cut in less time every time. Exmark, ready to work for you. Visit Cross Texas Supply today, your local Exmark equipment dealer. For 28 years, City Cafe and Bakery has given great attention to detail to make sure that your special event or wedding is a huge success. We have a full-service professional staff to help with anything from planning and decorating to catering and serving. And if it's supplies you need, we have a full line of rentals, including linens, china, tables, and chairs. So whether your special occasion is small and intimate or a gathering of 1,200, call City Cafe and Bakery. Voted Best Catering Service and Event Planner for 2018. City Cafe and Bakery, one stop for everything your event needs. Sonora Bank presents the 2019 Boots, Buckles, and Pearls Dinner and Dance with special guest Eddie Raven. It's a night at the Kentucky Derby. Ladies, be sure to enter the Derby Hat Contest with $500 to the winner at the First Community Federal Credit Union Spur Arena. It's Eddie Raven. Operator, operator. Saturday, April 6th, benefiting Sunrisa's Trails. For ticket information, visit sunrisasriding.org or by calling 325-949-4837. Welcome back to the 2019 Concho Valley Homepage Severe Weather Special. Lightning often strikes with little or no warning and can be deadly. Here's a more in-depth look at the science behind lightning. Let's dig in a little bit on how lightning forms within a thunderstorm. In a thunderstorm, you have a bunch of ice and water particles smacking against each other, and that creates positive and negative charges within the cloud. Now, when these charges build up enough, a little bit of a current runs between the positive and negative charge, and you get lightning, even within a cloud. We call this cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning. Now, at the ground, we are worried about cloud-to-ground lightning. That's the lightning we're concerned about, and this happens because the ground has a natural positive charge. So once you get enough of a charge, charge built up in the cloud that connects to the positive charge at the ground as a lightning strike. And when you see these, you don't really want to be outside in it, but if you are, you can tell how far away it is from you. Just look for the flash of lightning, and once you see the flash, start counting. Every five seconds adds up to a mile away from the thunderstorm once you hear that thunder. So let's go ahead and try it real quick. We'll wait for a flash. One, two, three, four, five, six seven. There's the thunder. So we are about a mile and a half away from that thunderstorm. Of course, anytime you hear thunder, we want you to head indoors because you don't want to be outside in this. But if once you get inside, you can tell how far away you are from a thunderstorm by listening for that thunder. One billion volts. That's how strong the average lightning strike is. And these strikes often accompany all thunderstorms, which is why knowing how to stay safe is important. And Taban Sharifi has more. Lightning kills more people every year than tornadoes or hurricanes, and you don't need to be in an area where rain is occurring to get struck by lightning. If it's lightning or you've got lightning in the area, you want to be inside. As long as you're inside, you're generally pretty safe. I mean, I don't think you'd want to be taking a, a bath or shower because if lightning strikes your house, it can travel through the pipes and stuff like that. If someone near you is struck by lightning, you should call 911 immediately. Uh, as long as they aren't on a powered source, there's not an electrical charge left from the lightning in the person. It has went through through them and into the ground. To stay safe, avoid using electrical equipment, keep away from windows, do not take a bath or shower, avoid being near tall or isolated trees, don't touch anything that conducts electricity, and most importantly, if thunder roars, go indoors. Thank you, Tabon. When we come back, we'll take a look at what to expect this upcoming spring. Stay with us. so much change in our world. It's good to know there's a place to find real answers. Original reporting every evening on the CBS Evening News with Jeff Bloor.
It's a mad month for entertainment. How do you stay on top of it all? By getting Suddenlink's award-winning internet starting at just $19.99 a month. So Suddenlink customers are staying entertained at a nearly professional level? Yeah. Just look at their concentration. They're staying totally focused on the game. Not hard when you can stream, chat, shop, game, and watch your favorite content on any device. Get Suddenlink internet starting at only $19.99 a month with no annual contract. Call 855-837-8982 or visit suddenlink.com slash speed. Hi, I'm Mike. MGB wants to be your MVP, most valuable payer. Bring your gold, silver, and diamonds to MGB, and you'll say... I sold gold, and I like Mike. On Avenue Inn by Angelo State. Need glasses now? We have a lens lab in every store and can make them for you in as little as 30 minutes. Two pairs start at just $38.71, and 91% of our glasses are ready the same day. No one makes glasses faster than I'm on Express. selection of pre-owned vehicles just in time for spring. The 2017 Audi Q5 features a lavish cabin, powerful engine, and great handling. And the 2017 Infiniti QX30 has a smooth, comfortable ride and a sleek, stylish profile. The 2015 Chevy Suburban has a robust V8 engine, ample cargo space, and a high-class interior. And the 2018 Toyota RAV4 offers a wealth of safety features in an attractive, well-built SUV. Randall Motors, Avenue N at Austin. Habitat for Humanity would like you to participate in the 2019 Bunny Run on Saturday, April 13th at Kids Kingdom. All the proceeds go to benefit Habitat for Humanity of San Angelo. The Road Lizards have helped organize a one-mile run and walk, as well as a 5K and 10K run. That's all April 13th at 8.30 a.m. We'd like to give a special thank you to our sponsors that make this event such a great success. So come on out and join us at Kids Kingdom Saturday, April 13th at 8.30 a.m. Welcome back to the 2019 Conto Valley Homepage Severe Weather Special. Here in West Texas, severe weather can strike at a moment's notice, and you need to be prepared. Now, we went down to the local National Weather Service and spoke with a warning and coordination meteorologist for insight on what to expect. Severe weather is already striking multiple areas across the country, and soon that threat will shift to West Texas. After every tornado event, we saw what happened in Beauregard, Alabama. And this goes even for myself. We always say, it's not going to happen to me. This is never going to happen to me. While tornadoes are the most notable threat each severe weather season, there are other threats, including hail and damaging winds, and one in particular that stands out this year. The only thing that concerns me about this year in 2019 is so much water. Last year's rainfall was very beneficial, but could lead to a higher threat for flash floods, responsible for the most weather-related fatalities in Texas. The stats in Texas are 77% of the people who have died since 1959 have, have drowned in those low water crossing areas. This year, we are entering an El Nino phase, which could be favorable for severe weather across the state of Texas. It continues to allow that subtropical jet stream to flow over west central Texas. And what that does, it allows those little impulses to come across. If there's moisture in the area, it could trigger thunderstorms. You know, maybe there's a frontal boundary in the area. Sure, they can trigger severe thunderstorms. Regardless of the time of year or setup, we should always be prepared should severe weather strike. He said it only takes one bad storm in the wrong place. Of course, one of the ways you can get those alerts is through our Concho Valley homepage app. To make sure that those alerts are turned on, you can customize your weather alerts straight through the app. Just go to settings, enable push notifications, and select the cities you wish to receive those alerts from. We will make sure we will always keep you ahead of the storm. You can also follow KLST and KSAN on Facebook and Twitter, along with each member of the Concho Valley weather team. We keep you ahead of the storm with these accounts before, during, and after the storm with information that helps keep you safe. That concludes the 2019 Contra Valley Homepage Severe Weather Special. 
We hope you are more informed and prepared to stay ahead of the storm should one strike near you. And we would like to thank our sponsor, Concho Collision and Autoglass, for making all of this possible this year. Remember, KLST and KSAN will be there on air, online, and on social media to help keep you safe during severe weather. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next year.